Okay, I'm looking under my kitchen sink right now, and what I have is a Waste King uh, one, I think it's a one quarter horsepower uh, garbage disposal. And the other day I hit the switch and it, it kind of just buzzed and hummed, and it didn't turn, and I knew something was wrong. Uh, there is this little reset switch here on this unit. If it's uh, popped out, then it kind of blew a fuse and you can push it back in. That might solve the problem. If not, you might have a jammed um, disposal. What I did was I went in with a screwdriver, and I'll show the view here. I took this rubber gasket out, and I went in with a screwdriver, and I tried to turn the whole thing, the whole cylinder, and it was stuck. And I really had to pry hard to get it to turn. I ran some water through it, and I turned it a few times, and there was definitely something clogged in there, something stuck in the inside the you know inside the disposal so what I did was I kept turning it turning it I kept running water through it and eventually got easier to turn with the screwdriver and after I turned it three or four complete revolutions whatever was jammed in there I must have got loose so what I did was I uh, before you do that unplug it first and then uh, after it rotates okay then plug it back in, run some water through it, make, it, make sure everything is sealed up down below. I kind of unscrewed a, a few things down here, put it back together again. And then when I ran the water, I turned the switch on the wall and the thing spun real fast. So I resolved it, it was a clog. Another thing you can do is if it's holding water, you can fill the sink up with a few inches of water and you can plunge it and that might remove the obstruction. In my case, I just turned it with a long screwdriver a few times that got it loose, and it's working again. And that is the Waste King one quarter horsepower garbage disposal. Also make sure when you turn it back on, the switch should be pushed in. If the switch is out, then it tripped and you have to Make sure the switch is in before it works. If you just hear a humming sound, chances are you have a, a clog. It could also be a bad motor, but most likely it's a clog. And I was able to fix that in about 20 minutes.